Yeah. So I wanted to talk about Twitter a little bit with you. Um, mm -hmm. How have you been enjoying the must takeover? Has it been? How's it been for you? I mean, I, I, I mean, look, I love it, but uh, it's it's <laughs> bad. It's bad for a lot of groups. You know, there's a lot of there's long COVID groups that really get all their information and they communicate on on Twitter. And there's you know there's marginalized groups that really use twitter so to say that first of all but i it really exposes the the super rich for what they are which are are just bully knucklehead idiots like they're just mm -hmm. they they got what they got because they had a bunch of money and it doesn't actually it, you don't need to be really smart once you have a bunch of cash you know he sues people like crazy he's a bully uh he 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 brutalizes workers like this is who he is and so now he's showing who he is and everyone's like oh that's not great i'm loving the thing the greatest thing about it is just watching the tesla stock price just plummet just absolutely plummet because he's he's coming up against a very tough time when all the other car companies come out with evs and he's doing this at the worst possible time it's, mm -hmm. it's exactly what he shouldn't be doing he should really be you know, kissing, kissing the ass of his, of his base, which are liberal, liberals in the suburbs buying his cars. Right. 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 And right. now he's pissing them all off on Twitter every day. Like there's nothing more you could do to upset liberals in the suburbs than to bring Trump back on to Twitter and give him a voice again. Like they're, they're all going to be furious with you and they're driving your car. And the next time they'll go, what other EVs are out there? It's really, it's really, it's kind of weird because every time I turn on Twitter, it's, you know, they have the what's happening little panel. And a lot of the times it's just right wing. There's like two things trending that are just right wing today. Uh, yeah. MRNA that's still trending. And that's not what's great about our vaccines. It's saving tons of lives. That's all these idiots just putting out lies because they can now because no one's going to stop them and so it's just it's just a, a i went through it and i was like this is just all garbage yeah i mean i've noticed that the the like what's trending panel and i think it like it's supposed to be unique to the user but i've noticed that like my panel is like not as useful to me as it used yeah. to be it used no, to actually yeah kind of be news like you could kind of see what was going on a little bit i mean it wasn't like a go-to thing but it was kind of like a convenient launch pad where it's like oh this and this and this why is this trending what's going on here yeah and you could kind of like use it as a starting point to kind of absorb your news for the day not anymore there's a bunch no. of random just just kind of buzz hashtags that are trending like it's almost like it just doesn't even work as a tool in that way anymore and like like I randomly saw um, this was today. Randomly, the LAPD was trending for me. And I was like, oh, well, did something happen? And it I wasn't. It was right just. It, yeah. Like, like it was just a random trend, though. Like there wasn't anything super particular other than, I guess, just, oh, they're trying to give themselves more money. But there were just a bunch of unrelated tweets in like a series. Like it wasn't like, oh, this is the topic. Well, so I was I like, OK. Noticed is if you go into those those topics you'll find that it's mostly right wingers uh tweeting about it so when i go mm. into twitter and it's been this way for a long time i'll get i'll get soccer tweets i'll get very specifically man united subjects that'll mm -hmm. be over there um those are all gone i don't get those anymore um i have one soccer in all my things i have one soccer thing which is really weird because it's usually it's been it's been a lot and then it's like MRNA, LAPD, the IRS, uh, Coinbase, <laughs> boycott Tampax, which is a right wing thing now because they have an ad with a trans person in it, and so the right wing's like, "What is Tampax doing?" It's like, okay, uh, so, so I, didn't, I didn't even know about that. That's <laughs> yeah, because I I'm I'm interested to see what the right wing is doing, and so I go in and look. I'm like, oh, so you're all screaming about Tampax right now. That would never before have been in my my thing. So he's they're specifically putting up right wing. It's it they're driving the whole site to be a right wing garbage festival, and it's gonna yeah. people like us. We're just gonna be like, eh, 
I don't want to go there anymore because it'll just be, it'll be like being on one of their little offshoot social media sites. That's what right. he's doing well, to it. He's that's what he's just, doing. Yeah. But now he has to answer to the advertisers because people are leaving Twitter. And guess what? Advertisers, they, they don't really give a hoot what people are talking about. They just want people to advertise to. So, like, if a bunch it's of users even, are going to bail. You know what? It's not even that people are leaving. Um, they are – the reason that the free speech fight happens, which is basically them banning people on Twitter, is because advertisers are like, I actually don't want Cheez-Its to be right above – What's up with the Jews? I actually don't want to get a screenshot right. of of Kanye saying something about the Jews next to Cheez-Its. People take that screenshot and they send it to the company and they go, what are you doing? So they, they literally don't want their name next to terrible stuff, which is what happens in these right. ads. The tweet above yours is some guy saying something terrible about trans people and then your product, Ford. Well, they don't want that. So that's why they're all bailing because mm -hmm. it's, it's a bad thing. So I, cause people, the number of users isn't going down because of the world cup and because everyone was interested in what Elon is doing. Like it's a, it's a, it's a train fire. Like you're watching it and you're just like, wow. So all these advertisers have left already. And now we're getting these terrible ads. Like I get the one I pointed out the other day was, um, a, a walking stick that turns into a baton, um, to hit people with, which is illegal in California, but you can buy it because they sell it as a walking stick, but it's a weapon. Uh, so it's it the quality oh, of stuff they sell is going down, down, down. And I I made the joke. I'm like, pretty soon they're gonna be selling gold, and someone's like, I just saw a gold ad. Like it's <laughs> it's like the whole he didn't know what he bought. He doesn't know what this is. He thinks everybody with the free speech thing cool free speech they don't have free speech in germany germany's actually doing far better than we are as far as a country goes there's a lot of countries that don't have free speech it turns out they're doing much better than us so you kind of have to you kind of if you're a free speech absolutist you kind of have to explain to me why that works and and we're in such a terrible condition and they're not but the bigger thing is if you're a free speech absolutist now twitter doesn't exist in germany in japan and the Netherlands and France, because they don't allow you to say all the stuff about Jewish people and trans people and everything else. They will shut you down. So he's creating free speech on this site. He's eliminating 90% of his audience. Yeah. I mean, well, he actually isn't too, because he like, he'll like ban people for making fun of him and stuff like that. But like, yeah, no, he's a bullshit free speecher. He's the classic right. victim right wing guy. But he is he is allowing people like Kanye and although Trump isn't coming back, but Trump and Jordan Peterson and people have been banned for saying really terrible stuff. They're not they they have laws against this in Europe, specific mm -hmm. laws and regulations. Well, that's why I, I would actually in response to that. I wouldn't say they don't have free speech i would say their free speech laws are different than ours correct but our, so our free speech law is anything goes basically there's a few a couple things here and there well, yeah well, I mean, we shouldn't i agree with i agree with not allowing nazis to have a microphone i don't think it does any good because their whole thing is to use free speech to kill free speech so mm -hmm. you're allowing someone to use free speech to kill it and i think that's a bad idea well, we have law. I mean, you can incite violence. So it's like, I mean, we sure. do have free speech laws. I mean, I, I mean, that's a it'd be a pretty heavy uh, lift to say, well, who has the best free speech laws? I, I just wouldn't I wouldn't put it like, oh, they don't have free speech. Their laws are just different. I'm than not ours saying they don't have free speech, but they don't have ours is ours is slander, slander away. Uh, make up all the lies you want. There's they don't they don't allow that in a lot of countries. So it gets very, very complicated for these people to propagate their garbage. And they learned that because they had this thing. Um, it was called World War II. And they <laughs> heard of it. actually, uh, they underwent what the Nazis did with free speech and using speech. And they decided to alter their laws based on that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, you know, I guess at some point you have to have a genocide and then you go, oh, wow, my God, we got to change things. But he, whatever you think of free speech and you can hate my argument, 
that's totally fine. Uh, it doesn't take away from the fact that Elon Musk is an absolute idiot because he is going to get Twitter killed in all of those places. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. no. It, I'm with you. And, and I, I don't hate your argument. I, I just like when I hear um, those buzzwords being thrown around, not by you, because you actually know that there are laws around this stuff. But sometimes when people say things like I'm a free speech absolutist. It's like, well, what does that mean? Because you're saying that, like, in your mind, you think that that means I can say whatever I want and there's no such thing as any consequence. Right. That's not what free speech is. We have no. laws where there, there are certain things that are not protected. Uh, obscenity is not protected. What determines obscenity? Well, that's complicated, but, you know, there are laws around it. You can't a judge. You can't defame somebody. There are consequences if you're found guilty of defamation. Now, uh, Alex Jones just found that out. You can't incite violence. So it's like you hear a lot of these people using these bu buzzwords where it's like they have no idea what that actually means. Well, and, also, and Elon Musk is an, an example of somebody who has money and is demonstrating. Yeah. He doesn't know what yeah, it means. He, that he's, he's actually really dumb when it comes to this stuff. It's also like it, this is Twitter. It's not there's no free speech world here. It's a private company. Like, I know I know people always get bad at, at you know, we've we've seen YouTube shut down a ton of, a ton of leftists and rightists. Mm -hmm. Like, that's what they do. And I, the argument that they're that the argument was always like well if they shut down the right they'll shut down the left no what happens always is a war happens and they shut down the left that's all of american history a war happens and the left gets crushed mm -hmm. that's what they do they shut down every mode of communication you have so it, it has nothing to do with what they do to the right but the problem isn't that youtube is censoring people the problem is that there's only youtube right and that's oh, that's the government that so so they're private companies. They get to do what they want. Like Twitter gets to yeah. go and shut down whatever they want. And then we all get to decide if we want to use it. Like that's, that's yeah, how it but, works. But what sucks is that they're also monopolies. Like, yeah, that's the thing. That's like, the like they're also the only game in town. So it's like, well, shit. <laughs> this is I mean, the problem, the problem with Twitter is though, it isn't a monopoly. It's just better than all the other ones. Cause you've, I'm sure you've checked yeah. out Mastodon and, and the hive and they have these other ones and they're not as good. And they also haven't, it's very comp complicated, dude. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm having a hard time. I use it, but I'm, I don't quite know what I'm I doing. I'm, I haven't I, gotten I'm, on Hive yet. Are you on Hive? No, I no, I haven't gone over there yet. But it's all very like Twitter went through a very long process of figuring out the limits and figuring out the lines, and most of that came from advertisers pushing back, not people getting mad. Like people get mad at Alex Jones, but at the end of the day, Nabisco doesn't want an Alex Jones tweet next to their product. That's really all it comes down to. It's very bad for business to have screenshots of that stuff. So, uh, so that they pushed back, and and advertisers are the ones who did all this, and that's where ninety percent of the Twitter pro uh, profit comes from. So now Musk has chased them all away. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it's, and it's like it's over. I don't know how it survives. Yeah, and 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 kind of like what you were saying earlier, like it it does bum me out to a degree because Twitter is a valuable tool despite all of its flaws, and yeah. it is better than the other ones, you know. So, so I, I, mean, I don't know. I, for me personally, COVID is it is Twitter has kept me from getting COVID. I have not gotten COVID. The scientists that I I read, they put up polls recently and like 65 to 70 percent of their followers have not gotten COVID. so that means we are all that 65 percent are all in the six percent of people that have not gotten COVID, because we're following specific scientists telling us what to do and when to ratchet things up and when to change things and i got that all through twitter mm -hmm. i wouldn't have gotten that if i didn't have twitter because where would i go jimmy Dore? sorry <laughs> Sorry, Ron. <laughs> um, but where would I go? I, I, CNN, MSNBC, like any of those, uh, like which breaking points? These are all people just out there spewing fiction about COVID. And so I don't know where I would go without Twitter. I don't know how I would have sort of maneuvered my way through this.